R-O-M. R-O-M stands for range of motion. So range of motion is the movement of a joint to the extent possible without causing pain. R-O-M is range of motion. H-O-H. H-O-H stands for hard of hearing. Hearing loss. Hearing loss is not being able to hear the normal range of sounds that are associated with normal hearing. Deafness. Deafness is hearing loss that is impossible for the person to understand speech through hearing alone. AMD. AMD is age-related macular degeneration. Macular degeneration. Macular degeneration is a condition affecting the central part of the retina, so the macula, and resulting in distortion or loss of central vision. It occurs especially in older adults, in which case it is called age-related macular degeneration. So macular degeneration is loss of central vision. Glaucoma. Glaucoma is a condition of increased pressure within the eyeball, causing gradual loss of sight. So glaucoma is gradual loss of sight. It's, incre it's a condition of increased pressure within the eyeball. SSI. SSI stands for surgical site infection. That is an infection that occurs after surgery in the body part where the surgery took place. SSI, surgical site infection. UTI. A UTI is a urinary tract infection. BP, BP. BP stands for blood pressure. sphygmomanometer. The sphygmomanometer is an instrument for measuring blood pressure, typically consisting of an inflatable rubber cuff which is applied to the arm and connected to a column of mercury next to a graduated scale. It's enabling the determination of systolic and diastolic blood pressure by increasing and gradually releasing the pressure in the cuff. So sphygmomanometer, that is a blood pressure cuff it is a cuff and measure device used to measure blood pressure. So sphygmo means pulse and manometer is a device for measuring pressure. Sphygmomanometer. <laughs> it's a blood pressure cuff. Stethoscope. A stethoscope is a medical instrument for listening to the actions of someone's heart or breathing. It is typically having a small disc-shaped resonator that's placed against the chest or a pulse rate and two tubes connected to earpieces. So stethoscope is a medical instrument used for listening to heart or breathing. Intubation. Intubation is inserting an artificial airway. Infancy. Infancy is the first year of life. Prenatal. Prenatal is healthcare that a woman or a person receives while pregnant. Postpartum is after childbirth. So postpartum is after childbirth. Pediatrics. Pediatrics is the branch of medicine that is dealing with children and their care and diseases. Pediatrics. OB. 
OB stands for obstetrics, and obstetrician specializes in obstetrics, which deals with all aspects of pregnancy from prenatal care to postnatal care. An obstetrician delivers babies, whereas a gynecologist does not. An obstetrician can also provide therapies to help you to get pregnant, such as fertility treatments. So OB is obstetrics. It is dealing with all aspects of pregnancy. G-Y-N. G-Y-N is gynecology. So you often see OB and G-Y-N together, but they are not the same thing. So gynecology. A gynecologist specializes in caring for the reproductive health of a woman from the time she gets her first period all the way to post-menopause. They deal with any conditions that affect the reproductive system, such as those with the cervix, uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes, vagina, and are diagnosed and treated by the gynecologist. Gyn, G-Y-N, is gynecology. STD, an STD is a sexually transmitted disease. Ostomy. An ostomy is a surgically created opening that connects an internal organ to the body's surface. So, like ileostomy, colonostomy. Um, yeah, ostomy is a surgically created opening that goes to the outside of the body. Colostomy. A colostomy is a sur surgical operation in which a piece of the colon is diverted to an artificial opening in the abdominal wall so, so that they can bypass a damaged part of the colon. So a person undergoes a colostomy and it leaves an opening. Um, and then they have a colostomy bag. Ileostomy. An ileostomy is a surgical operation in which a piece of the ileum is diverted to an artificial opening in the abdominal wall. So an opening is formed. Ileostomy is a stoma constructed by bringing the end or loop of a small intestine out onto the surface of a skin. It's a surgical procedure in which creates this opening. The intestinal waste passes out of the ileostomy and is collected in an external ostomy system which is placed next to the opening. So ile Ostomy, surgical operation where a piece of the ileum is diverted. NG tube. An NG tube is a nasogastric tube. It's a feeding tube inserted through the nose and into the stomach. So NG is nasogastric tube. Nasoenteral tube. The nasoenteral tube is a food feeding tube that is inserted through the nose and into the small bowel. Nasal speculum. So speculum means mirror. A nasal speculum is an instrument that is used to examine the inside of the nose. Naso is nose, speculum is mirror. Post-op. Post-op stands for post-operative, and that means after surgery. So post-op is post-operative. Pre-op. Pre-op. That means pre-operative, and it means before surgery. So pre-op stands for pre-operative. So pre means before, and op is operation. So pre-op, pre-operative, before surgery. H-O-B. H-O-B stands for head of bed. So head of bed. RBC. RBC stands for red blood cell.
WBC. So WBC stands for white blood cell. It's a type of blood cell that's made in the bone marrow and found in the blood and lymph tissue. WBCs are part of the body's immune system. They help the body fight infections and other diseases. WBC stands for white blood cell. S slash S stands for signs and symptoms. So S slash S stands for signs and symptoms. COPD. COPD stands for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So it's a type of lung disease marked by permanent damage to tissues in the lungs, making it hard to breathe. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease includes chronic bronchitis, in which the bronchi, or large air passages, are inflamed and scarred, emphysema, in which the alveoli, or tiny air sacs, are damaged. So COPD stands for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Asthma. Asthma is a condition in which your airways narrow and swell and may produce extra mucus. This can make breathing difficult and trigger coughing, a whistling sound or wheezing, and when you breathe out, you have shortness of breath. So symptoms are cough and wheeze. Asthma is a condition in which your airways narrow and swell and may, may produce mucus. IBS. IBS stands for Inflammatory Bowel Syndrome, or Irritable Bowel Syndrome. TB. TB stands for Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a bacterial infection that usually infects the lungs. Other organs, such as kidneys, spine, or brain may also be involved. TB is primarily spread from person to person in an airborne manner, such as when an infected person coughs or sneezes. So TB stands for tuberculosis. It is a lung infection spread person to person. CPAP or CPAP, that stands for continuous positive airway pressure. A CPAP therapy is common treatment for obstructive sleep apnea. A CPAP machine uses a hose connected to a mask or a nose piece to deliver constant and steady air pressure to help you breathe while you sleep. CPAP stands for CPAP and means continuous positive airway pressure. BiPAP. BiPAP stands for bilevel positive airway pressure. So, some medical problems can make it hard for you to breathe. In these cases, you might benefit from bilevel positive airway pressure. It's commonly known as a BiPAP or a BPAP. It's a type of ventilator, a device that helps with breathing. During normal breathing, your lungs expand when you breathe in. BiPAP refers to bilevel or two-level positive airway pressure. Like a CPAP, this sleep ap apnea treatment works by sending air through a tube into a mask that fits over the nose. While CPAP generally delivers a single pressure, BiPAP delivers two, an inhale pressure and an exhale pressure. So BiPAP, that is bi-level. Bi, so bicycle, so that's two. Bi-level positive airway pressure. MSD. MSD stands for musculoskeletal disorders. So injuries or disorders that involve the muscles, tendons, ligaments, joints, and cartilage. MSD, musculoskeletal disorders. Otoscope. An otoscope is a lighted instrument used to examine the inner ear and the eardrum. Otoscope. So, this is an otoscope. Otitis media. Otitis media is inflammation or infection located in the middle ear. Otitis media can occur as the result of a cold, sore throat, or respiratory infection. A middle ear infection caused by fluid trapped behind the eardrum, which causes the eardrum to bulge. Along with an earache, you may sense fullness in your ear and have some fluid drainage from the affected area. 
otitis media is inflammation or infection located in the middle ear. Cataracts or cataract, a condition in which the lens of the eye becomes cloudy. Symptoms include blurred, cloudy, or double vision, sensitivity to light, and difficult seeing at night. Without treatment, cataracts can cause blindness. There are many different types and causes of cataracts. Cataracts is a clouding of the lens. Nocturia. Nocturia, so knock is at night. Uria means urine. So nocturia is frequent urination at nighttime. Polyuria. Polyuria, so poly is a bunch, pretty much. <laughs> Uria is urine, again, so. Polyuria means abnormally large amounts of urine. Pneumonia. Pneumonia is an inflammation or an infection in the lung tissue. Reporting. Reporting is the oral account of care and observations. So you will give your report verbally to the oncoming shift. Reporting. It is the oral account of care and observations. Recording. Recording is the written account of care and observations. So charting and documentation. DOA. DOA stands for dead upon arrival. Dead on arrival. DOA. Rigor mortis. Rigor mortis is a stiffness or a rigidity to the skeletal muscles, and that occurs after death. Rigor mortis is rigidity of the muscles after death. Postmortem care. Postmortem care is care given to the body after death. It is respectful, cleanliness, hygiene, courteous. Yeah, postmortem care. It is care given to the body after death. Pulse rate. Pulse rate is the number of heartbeats or pulses counted in one minute. Pulse oximetry. Pulse oximetry measures the oxygen in arterial blood. It is an external test used to me measure the oxygen level or oxygen saturation of the blood. It is painless and generally the pulse ox goes on the fingertip it's best if they don't have fingernail polish on, but it just needs to be able to see through to your blood to read the oxygen saturation, sometimes called O2, so O2 sat. Um, the pulse oximetry measures the oxygen in arterial blood. Psychiatry. Psychiatry is the field of medicine that's concerned with mental health disorders. Psychiatry is the medical specialty devoted to the diagnosis prevention and treatment of mental disorders. These may include various maladaptations related to mood, behavior, cognition, and perceptions. So psychiatry is the field of medicine that is related to mental health disorders. Skin tear. A skin tear is a break or a rip in the outer layers of the skin. So the outer layers, the top layer is the epidermis and it separates from the underlying tissues. So a skin tear is a wound that happens when the layers of skin separate or peel back. They can happen as a result of bumping something, dressing changes, or washing or drying the skin harshly. Skin tear. Jeering is when the skin sticks to a surface while the muscles slide in the direction the body is moving. So friction and shearing wounds oftentimes occur together. Friction wounds occur when an object is dragged or rubbed across the skin, such as when a bed sheet is dragged across the skin. Shearing wounds occur when forces are applied to the body tissues or parts that cause these tissues to move in the opposite direction.
HR stands for heart rate. BP stands for blood pressure. NICU or NICU stands for Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. It is a specialized unit that cares for premature infants. NICU, that is N-I-C-U, Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. OR, OR stands for Operating Room. OR is Operating Room.